extended sign rule and circumradius. Before starting, I want to mention about the extended sign rule. According to the sign rule or law of signs, the triangle having sides A, B and C with opposite vertex angles A, B and C respectively, then A by sine A equals to B by sine B equals to C by sine C. This is the sign rule or the law of science. We are not going to prove the sign rule over here. We will take this formula. The extended sign rule involves another parameter called the circumradius denoted by capital R. The extended sign rule is as follows. A by sine A equals to B by sine B equals to C by sine C equals to 2R. The circumradius is the radius of the circumscribed circle of the triangle ABC. Proof We know that angles subtended by a chord on the same segment of a circle are always equal. Here this chord subtends angle A on this segment of the circle. Now if we move this point A along this segment of the circle like this, the angle A remains the same. All we have to do is to bring the point to a position on the segment of the circle such that BA becomes the diameter of the circle. Note that the angle A hasn't changed but angle C has become 90 degrees as we all know from Thales theorem. Now the diameter is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. The diameter is equal to 2R. Side BC equal to A is the side opposite to angle A. Both angle A and side A has not changed while we change the position of the vertex A. From our knowledge of trigonometric ratios, we may say that sine A is equal to A by 2R. This implies A by sine A is equal to 2R. Thus, from the formula of sine rule, we may easily interpret the extended sine rule involving the circumradius.